Hi folks and welcome to the channel and in today's video we're gonna go to the jungle today today we're gonna have a look at the gorilla from Aurora DSP so let's check this out so yeah this is the gorilla <laughs> from Aurora DSP it's their newest plug-in and as you can see it's a bass plug-in space amp sim we'll have a bit of water I'll have a bit of a some noise and uh, these are the settings I've dialed in at the moment we'll have a quick walk through and then we'll, we'll have a bit of a mess about right at the top here you've got a few little uh, I don't know if you call them menu, you a few little options anyway. So you've got your about, so you, which version you're on, uh, all the description of it there. Manual, your license, if you want to deactivate it for some reason. <laughs> Any settings that you've dialed in, you can save those. And it comes with some presets, or some from Aurora, and uh, some other ones from other known personalities. And if you save them, you're going to the user one, and then get off. You can undo that altogether, and it sets everything back to default. Then you've got your mini mapping and a tuner. So in this first little section, you've got input. So I that's just your, your input altogether, and then you've got uh, your sort of crossover frequencies for your, your mid and treble, and bass and mid. I'd sort of perhaps just turn that down a little bit actually. feature right down at the bottom here which is octaves which i think is a little pretty cool feature so you can either go down an octave you can either go down the full octave or anywhere in between and then same the other way if you want to go up an octave you can go up the full octave or same again anywhere in between so say if you've got uh, only got one bass and you want to do something in it a different tuning but you don't want to mess about keep tuning your bass all the time these are pretty good options and then <clears throat> right in the middle here so this top section is your preamp and tone stack so you've got three different preamps so we'll have a look at those in a moment you can either have it clean or add a little bit of drive and you could even make that hot oh it's a bit hot in here baby <laughs> And then that's the amount you can dial in. I'll wait dial into about there. Your mix. And then this is your sort of EQ section. I've just had a little bit of low end, taken some of the mids out, and just a bit of top end. Uh, the gentle button from what testing I've done just seems to just seems to calm down the uh, the the distortion, the gain bit and then brightness is obviously brightness and then the amount of treble then going down from there you've got the middle bit so you've got a maximizer grunt yeah which is just a little bit of extra harmonics in there a few mids and then the amount of mids i've just sort of turned those down a bit and then right at the bottom is your low end your bass so same again you've got a maximizer this time it's called a growl not a grunt but it's the same sort of thing and then the amount i've got that 100 percent and you can bypass that altogether but that's not all folks in this middle section in the gorilla oh we've got another little option in these this is what they call the secret sauce and it's just just adding some more little extra harmonics I've sort of got it to about there Let's say we'll have a look at all of these in a moment and then right at the end you've got your cab section there's four 
inbuilt cams and you can go eh, into them and you can actually have a combination of actually all four so you can put your microphone there and you've got all four or you can have one com or a combination of two different ones I mean I've got it on the bottom one and you can add your own IRs in there if you wish and then right at the bottom you've got output and limiter so this is what I've got it on at the minute So let's have a look at these octaves. Oh, let's go down an octave to start off with. Oh, very doomy. Like I say, you can go anywhere in between. So say if you just want to go down half an octave. Say the other way if you want to go up an octave. And same again, anywhere in between, so fifty percent again. <laughs> So in the middle, like I said, we've got three different preamps. I'm liking that one. And uh, this is the amount of drive if you want to put some drive in or you can have it totally clean you drive even on the sort of cleaner base just like a little bit of a little bit of grunt grunt grit grit that's it little If you want to really distort it up, switch the hot button. And you can really sort of turn that up. And then, in fact, let's put it back on the hot so. top. Just tends to smooth it off a little bit.
really swells it off. So it even gives you normal clean sound. So if we put it back onto. Just honestly, you've got a bit of grit in there. He's just the sort of uh, little bit of extra harmonics you've got in the grunt and the growl. I'll leave the, the gentle on ramp up the drive back. You've got your grit in there. Let's so say you can. Same again, different amounts and it's just turned that off. Add a little bit of little bit of grit. Same with the uh, the. You can really distort that up. Ha! Well, I say I've just got. And then the secret sauce. Secret sauce on. And then we'll have a look at these four cabs. So this is the one I've been using at the minute. So you've got a variety of cabs in there, a variety of sounds. Like I say, you can pop it in the middle and have all... Or if you want, you can have it somewhere in between. And at the bottom, you've got a, a, a limiter and an amp pump. So. That was the Gorilla from Aurora DSP. What do I think about this thing? Does it get the wizard seal of approval? Or does it get the finger of doom? Yeah. Definitely gets the wizard seal of approval. Now, I know this 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 amp sim, oh, amp sim bass amp sim, yeah. <laughs> this bass plugin is more designed for 
the cleaner bass tones, but you can definitely get some really, really gnarly bass tones as well. Uh, whereas the uh, the original Mammoth was more sort of geared towards the gnarly bass tones. This is more towards the clean ones. And yeah, I've used this on a couple of different tracks here and there. And I actually use it on uh, what I do is I use a, a, a two bass tracks, one for the sort of overall bass tone. And then a sort of more mid-range focus, really sort of dis heavily distorted tone. And I've used this on its on, on the, the main tone with a different plugin on the uh, on the mid-range tone. And then I've also used this on both. And uh, I've got to admit, I'm liking it. Plenty of options in there. You can get a sound, you can get a bass sound dialed in that uh, that you quite like. And uh, yeah. I'll leave a link down in the description and there's a pinned comment to where you can get this from. You can get a four, I think it's a 14 day free trial. So go and check it out yourselves. Don't take my word for it. And let me know what you think about this down in the comments as well. And if you want to grab yourself some evil wizard merch, there's a link to the merch store down in the description. But that's all from me, folks. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> right folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media and you can get my music online. And if you want to support the channel, there's a buy me a coffee and PayPal links. They're all down in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen. Keep it loud and keep it heavy.